working on the project, the Peregrine Fund had, had just finished doing a series of transects to try and look at how vultures were doing in Masai Mara in particular. And based on those transects, they were estimating that we'd had somewhere between sort of 50 and 60 percent declines over the last 30 years. Poisoning is the number one threat, and in, in East Africa, it's ma mainly pastoralists going out and putting poison onto cow or other livestock carcasses after they've lost an animal. So you can see all the flies, and they are trying to feed on this dead lapis face vulture. And uh, they're all dying. These birds feed several hundreds at a single carcass. So if you poison one carcass, you might kill one lion or one hyena, but you can kill a hundred vultures. You're not just killing a local population. Vultures are coming from all of Kenya to feed on that carcass and to, and to die at that carcass if it's been poisoned. And so it just affects a much larger area than it would for, for other species, and it affects a larger number of individuals than it would for a less social species. It's illegal poisoning that's happening directly to kill wildlife. It's, it makes it very difficult to regulate because it's something people are doing out of frustration with the animals that they're living around. I would say it's pretty dire. This is not a species that can maintain something like 25% annual mortality. Vultures have declined even more rapidly in West Africa than they have in East Africa. A lot of the populations there are more or less locally extinct. And I think in Kenya and Tanzania, where, where I've been working, I mean, we're seeing these very rapid declines and we're not really seeing any sign that, that things are turning around. I think we can expect to continue seeing these birds uh, declining at a very rapid pace. Mm -hmm.